already made a post about this, but I just want to come in here, come on here and say one thing. Thank you to everybody who shared my post. Today was quite an eventful day. I found the guy that saved me seven years ago. And I don't think anybody will ever understand the gravity of how grateful I am that I have finally found him. I, it gives me a little bit of peace he said that my mom wasn't screaming but I could have swore I heard her screaming but the way it gives me peace is knowing that if she wasn't screaming she didn't suffer and that's all I've ever wanted to know maybe she died in her sleep I don't know I carry this with me every day. It's got my mom's ashes in it. It's literally one of the very last things I have of my mother. And I can finally, it's funny, I can finally look at it with some peace and talk to it and say, Mama, we did it, we found him. It took seven, almost seven years, but we found him. And to everybody who saw my post about him, shared him, messaged him, when he called me, he said he had like hundreds of messages on his phone this morning. But he was listing off these names of people that I don't even know. I guess from the people that shared it, uh, they had messaged them. And you all can think that the internet is a bad, bad thing. It's bad to some resource. But I truly believe that if it wouldn't have been for me posting that photo and everything I found of him, I don't think I ever would have found him. And where did I post it? on Facebook and everywhere for the world to see. Did I find him? Yes. And I have thought and dreamed about this day for the past almost seven years. And I was, I wasn't stalking his Facebook, but I was scrolling through his Facebook earlier to find a little, little more about him, about, about him. And I'm scrolling through these photos, and each photo I scroll through, I'm like, it just gives me more recollection that it's him. Because when he was on the phone with me earlier, he was telling me only things that people at that scene would know. And now I'm like, I'm shaking right now because I'm just... I don't know what to say. I I am grateful, but at the same time, I don't know what the word I would use is. It's like I'm confused. I have people telling me, because I want a meeting. I, honest to God, want to meet him and give him a hug and thank him in person. Because saying thank you over the phone just isn't enough for me. But then I have some people whispering in my ear, you don't know him real well, you know. It doesn't matter. Me and that man have a connection that nobody will ever understand. And I hope if he is up to meeting me, I, I don't know what I can do to repay him. I don't think I can do anything to repay him. I owe him, I 
I owe him everything. He was just going for a run that night. Seeing what had happened. And he went in that house three times, if that tells you how brave he is. Three times. Zach, if you're seeing this, my name is Sierra McNamer. And me saying thank you just isn't enough to me. I will truly forever be grateful for you. I will shout your name from rooftops for generations if I have to. You truly were my angel that night. And I, my, my insides are shaking talking about it because, you know. But uh, thank you again to everybody, and I mean everybody, who posted, shared, messaged, contact people. It took a while, but we found him. And I think a little piece of me grew hope today. Knowing that I know who he is now. And that I can thank him. I got hit in my mouth. But, like I said, thank you just... I don't have the words to describe how thankful I am for this man. Or the words to say thank you to everybody who has helped me find him and reach out to him. You all are blessings, angels in disguises. You all will truly never understand how grateful I am. I don't know what else to say. I like I want to cry. I want to cry. <laughs>